With the fifth pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Jaden Ivey from Purdue University. Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Jelson here, and today we're back at it with a brand new NBA video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about my personal favorite prospect from this last year's draft that happened not too, too long ago, uh, you know, a couple months ago here, and it seems like it was sooner than that, but you know, time flies, you know, off topic, but that prospect is Jaden Ivey, as you guys see in the thumbnail and title. Jaden Ivey is my favorite prospect out of this class, and that doesn't mean that he is going to be the best player out of this class. He very well might, but personally, from what I like out of my prospects, I like Jaden Ivey a lot, and I'm really excited to watch him play, and I'm going to go over that in today's video. Now, there's something I can say, though, is that I have a very type, like I have a type that I very much enjoy like liking to watch out of my point guards. Uh, and that is a young athletic guy that can knock down a shot at times, but he can yam it on you if he needs to. And my favorite point guards of all time, Derrick Rose, Russell Westbrook, guys like that, John Morant. Those guys are some of my favorite players that I've ever watched. I like the super athletic uh, point guards and Jaden Ivey slots right into that. I won't say he's quite as athletic as, you know, guys like, uh, let's say, John Morant or Russell Westbrook or guys like that. But I would say right now that he is definitely, definitely a athletic freak to an extent, right? Uh, he's a lot more athletic than most players in this class, and he shows it on the court and off the court. You look at his testing numbers, phenomenal. You look at his on court, what he you know puts on tape. Uh, yeah, he's he's a little athletic, you know, maybe a smidgen bit uh, more than myself personally, but. You know, very athletic guy, uh, a guy that can knock down a shot. He had questionable percentages from three-point line in college. He has question marks around the three-point shot in general when it comes to the NBA, and which is completely understandable considering that, you know, the, the three-point shot, uh, I wouldn't say it's at its peak of most uh, importance uh, considering, I would say that's probably 2017 or 2018, but um, my point still stands that the three-point shot is very, very like, effective and, and important in today's game, especially out of guard. Uh, but Jaden Ivey is a guy that's going to help break that, you know, standard mold, I think. Uh, you know, I'm not saying that he can't be a good three-point shooter because in the summer league, for like the very little time that he did play before he got injured, uh, he looked like a, you know, decent three-point shooter. He looked like he was a little more confident in his three-point shot. You could tell he's very excited. So there's a little bit of the nerves going on in the summer league for like the game and a little bit of change that he played. I'm pretty sure it was only that much. And you could see that he was a little nervous, but he wasn't straying away from taking the shots that, uh, you know, maybe the scouts would say he wouldn't take or make, rather. And he ended up taking those shots, and most of the time he made them. Um, so Jaden Ivey showed me a little bit, obviously very, very small sample size. I can't stress that enough in the summer league. But he showed to me that his three-point shot, uh, maybe it's not quite as efficient, but it looks like he has the confidence to take it, which is very good. Uh, some people that can't shoot three-pointers are just not confident enough to even take the shot. Uh, for me, that shows that he could develop a shot at some point because, you know, there's no point in developing a shot if you're not willing to take it. And for him, it's if he's willing to take it right now, shows me that with uh, repetition and experience, he's going to become a fine three-point shooter. Um, obviously, as I brought up in the beginning with his athleticism, he has a, an extreme athletic upside here. Um, he's going to be able to dunk on people. Um, and obviously, that's not the most uh, usual way of scoring or something you wouldn't want to rely on. Uh, and that's showing me that he is not afraid of contact. He's not afraid of going to the rim. And he's not afraid to use his athleticism in ways that aren't just scoring. He knows how to use athleticism on defense. Uh, you know, even though he's going to he's gonna shape more into a defensive mold as the years come along, as most players do. But with the athleticism, he has the upside to become a better defender than uh, people probably give him credit for. Um, and he also shows me that he's going to be able to get passes and, and have the vision and having uh, the idea of what's going to go on. And you say, how does that relate to uh, athleticism? And I, I want to say that pretty much everything that has to do with basketball has something to do with athleticism. You could say basketball IQ doesn't, but I'd argue it does because you can have all the basketball IQ in the world. But if you're not athletic enough to make the pass, uh, to know uh, where to put it in front of them, uh, where to put it behind them, where to put it in the air, uh, if you're not athletic to 
hit those spots, uh, then you're not going to be a great passer in the league. And that may sound stupid to some people, but uh, when you really analyze film of different players, you can tell that sometimes they have very high basketball IQ, but their athleticism and their just coordination in general is a better word, um, is not quite there. Um, and it's a different type of athleticism because when you say athleticism, um, you typically think of a high-flying dunker, which he is. Uh, but when I'm talking about athleticism here, which I could also say coordination and all that, uh, is more like a Josh Giddy, right? Josh Giddy's not the most uh, freaky athletic guy, which he can still yam it on you. But let me say, uh, Josh Giddy has the sneaky athleticism, uh, the uh, the the confidence to make a pass and the coordination to make a pass. Uh, one of the best passes in the league as a young player. Um, so I think Jaden Ivey. I don't think he'll be as good of a passer, but he will be something similar. And as I was saying, it's just Jaden Ivey is, um, he has pretty much all the tools in the bag um, to become a good player all around. A, a, a three level scorer, a guy that's going to be solid on defense to say the least. Um, you could say that his size might be a little lacking, but he's like 6'4". Um, and I say, you know, his defensive upside in a way reminds me of D'Angelo Russell, but he's more athletic than D'Lo. Uh, and D'Lo is a guy that gets disrespected on defense a lot. Um, and for D'Lo, he's just a very, very solid defender. One of the better defenders in the league statistically, but it's because of his communication. Whereas with Jaden Ivey, I think he can have the communication uh, portion that D'Lo has, but also have the physical athleticism and the tools to be a very, very solid defender when it comes to one-on-one -on -one defending. So Jaden Ivey is going to be a solid defender in my opinion. Playmaking, as we went over, should not be a problem for Jaden Ivey. His shot is the only thing that I have any concern with with Jaden Ivey. Um, and I could be completely off. He could be a terrible playmaker, the worst defender I've ever seen, and he could be the best shooter ever. Like, you know, some with some prospects, that's just how it happens. Um, you get the stuff that you don't expect, and you don't get the stuff you really expect. Um, I don't expect that to happen, but we'll see. Um, Jaden Ivey, that's the only thing, though, is his shot. Uh, will his three-point shot be able to become at least even league average? Um, I think he can be a league average shooter. Uh, probably might be even a league average three-point shooter in his first year. Um, but can he become a, uh, you know, elite three-point shooter? I just, I don't see it. I just don't see him becoming an elite three-point shooter, but I do see him uh, having a service, serviceable jumper. Um, a mid-range game that can be comparable to, uh, I don't even know who to compare it to, but a serviceable uh, mid-range game. And obviously having the confidence to go to the rack and being an elite finisher at the at the NBA level is something that I, uh, that I expect out of him. Uh, his mid-range shot, as I said, who knows? A uh, three-point shot, who knows? This is all stuff that would develop, but I'm I'm sticking to my, my, my guns on the, he's uh, gonna be a good finisher at the league, uh, at the NBA level. He's gonna be able to play make at a good level and his defensive upside is worth it and then same thing with his jump shot Jaden Ivey is a guy that I think a lot of people are sleeping on and a lot of people are really excited for in the same sense depends on who you are right and Jaden Ivey is a guy that he's gonna be either the best player or one of the best players in this class or he might be a massive bust and I don't think he's gonna be a massive bust especially playing with Cade Cunningham it's gonna be a great fit in Detroit can I get a Detroit basketball all right, that was a little cringe. But let me say this right now. Detroit, y'all should be very, very excited, and I'm sure you are for what you guys have in store with Jaden Ivey. So, yeah, guys, if you guys have liked this video, please remember to like and subscribe and comment down below what you guys think about Jaden Ivey and the Pistons in this upcoming year. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Peace out.